Everyone wants to have a nice living doing what they love. That's the goal here. I know why my last 30 years has been about learning what I don't want to be. And yeah, you can be, don't want to be it anymore. What do I want to be? I want to be in this industry. I'm not saying an exact thing because I can't be a cameraman. Now, if I start creating masterclasses out the back and start sitting in on them, I can't tell you in a year's time, I won't be a cameraman, but I don't want to be a cameraman. I might know what a cameraman does. I might know what a good cameraman looks like. I, know what, I might know what to expect from a good cameraman for 600 quid a day after doing the course. I know a bad one from a good one. But I don't want to be the task or activity. I want to be the market creator and builder. I want to be the opportunity packager. I want to be the disruptor. I want to be, you know, creator of jobs and content or facilitator thereof. So I want to mentor it into existence. And I want to open up the roadblocks. I want to shoot the bunny rabbits in the headlights and give them a bit of a, a couple of batteries and make them adrenaline bunnies. You know, it, it, it's, the, it's the, to, to kick it up a gear, to leapfrog into something else, to do an uberization of, 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 the, of the function. It's, it's, it's the output of all that was people will get paid, they'll have work, stuff will be made that wouldn't have been made before, new stars will be created, new jobs will be created, the industry will move, there'll be a future for, for people interested in getting into the industry. Not that there isn't a future, but there'll be more of a future, or more choices of a future. More tech will come in, there's AR, VR, IR. There might not even be any people in the future. There might be, it's a robot on a three-dimensional meeting in the middle of a, like an artificial reality, sit in the hat. I don't know, but they're all jobs in the industry, funny enough. The business model that you're hoping to use will be a creative one that ensures that people have work that's, that's, that's viable. But the key to that, especially the kind of creative process, is to fully understand the target audience, to make sure that you, you know that there's a marketplace to sell the wares that you're actually producing. And that's, that's the kind of basic kind of concept. That's it, it's an end to end. There's multiple functions in a business. Yeah. And businesses, the reason for any business to be in existence is to sell to customers. No other reason, at a profit, unless you're a charity. But even then, if you're a charity, it's at a profit, so you can give to charity. Because the charity company needs to get those profitable money in, pay all their administration overheads, and ultimately give money to those in need. So a profitable business or a charity, both need to be profitable business aimed at a marketplace that's giving them money to cover their bills and their overheads to carry out their core activities. And the core activity, if you're not a charity given to others, is a business. Every, I'm a business on my own. Every, because what any career any of us go into is, I want to earn enough to have the lifestyle I want. Based on which one I pick and the job I have, I'm going to end up with X left after the, after the man and the government and the revenue commissioners or wherever tax man takes his cut. What you're left with then is what you get to play with, what house you live in, whether you're renting or buying, whether you have a big car, a small car, a car, a bike. You know, it, it, this, these are all outputs of your choice. You cannot expect to have the Ferrari if you're, if you're working in, in McDonald's as a, as a front end teller. So your career choice would be go back to college, do something else. Unless you become a YouTube star. So all of a sudden you can displace that, but that's an outlier again. So everybody is in the business of selling their time profitably. Hope, there's an awful lot of language out there now that's about this work life balance, smart, uh, smart working. And smart working is really trying to say is we're spending a, an ordinary amount of our time in traffic, getting, working on getting to work. So if you're doing, five, I could be, if I went to Dublin in the morning, it could be five hours round trip of actual commute and I'm doing a seven hour day and five hours on top of that of traffic where if I could stay at home and do a nine hour day and not have a stress in the consumption of the car and the time for me and being have a few more hours with the kids, the price point changes. And so the, the world wants to move to smart working and work from different locations and all this sort of stuff at a certain price, get a service delivered. The machine wants to pay you the least it can. You want to get the most you can. It's this politics of, of you know, where you are in your career path dictates the price. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, click that bell notification wherever it is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not editing this video. Just tune in next time. Love yous.